the six inch mag draft swim bait. We all know it catches fish. I've won a lot of money on the Bassmaster Elite Series Tour throwing that exact bait right there. Again, six inch in harness version of the mag draft. Catches fish from two all the way up to 10 pounds in tournaments. It's probably my favorite tournament swim bait just because it gets bit. A couple key features, the tail. It's got a lot of tail action, but in turn, being a full bodied swim bait, when, it, when that tail moves, the head moves with it. So if you swim that by a fish, and whether it be six feet of water, eight feet of water, or real shallow up in two to three feet, it's got this real nice head wobble to it and it drives the fish nuts. So awesome, awesome bait. And there's a new version of this six inch mag draft. It's called the mag draft freestyle. And basically it comes as just a, a piece of plastic. It's a six inch soft plastic swim bait. It's got a pre-cut belly a reinforced nose so there's a little more plastic towards the nose of the bait and then a recessed hook channel in the back here and basically what that allows you to do is rig it with my favorite way is a belly hooked weight like a trocar swim blade here and you know there's a bunch of bunch of different belly weights on, on the market this happens to be my favorite quarter ounce and a five aught size um, and it's got the blade on it but going back to the swim bait here you know the original six inch mag draft you could never ever throw it in grass or you know some cover like this behind me uh, floating grass stick ups you'll get hung up every single time so we came up with the almost weedless version and paired up with a belly style hook a five aught six aught size belly hook quarter ounce weight and a screw lock and it's real simple rigging wise you take the meat of the nose here the reinforced nose take your screw lock righty tighty lefty loosey so we'll turn it right all the way to the line tie here so it just free swings now from there all you do is you measure you know where take your finger and measure where the bottom of that hook that hook uh, bend is and go in through the belly and perpendicular 90 degrees pop it out of the belly or out of the back of it and just slide that sharp hook point right into that recessed channel. And there you go, that thing's ready to go. You could throw it up in the grass, you could throw it up in tulies, stick ups, trees, pop it along there real nice, and you still have that signature, you know, mag draft motion where the tail moves and in turn the head moves with it. It's a full bodied swim bait, so it's a nice piece of meat that appeals to those three, four, five plus pound fish. With that being said, when you have an inline, a belly weight, and a big piece of plastic like that, line and rod selection is very important. I wouldn't go lighter than 17 pound test fluorocarbon. This is a 17, a lot of times I like 20, and sometimes even braid. Down there in Florida, you know, when you're fishing ultra shallow, um, I like that braided line, but the rod selection, uh, very, very crucial. Seven foot two. Mega Bass Orochi Double X Perfect Pitch. It's a seven power, so it's real heavy. Seven foot two, you can launch it a long way. So even on a long cast, with all that plastic there hiding that hook point, you're able to set the hook home. You know, when we're rigging it like this and you catch, you know, six, seven, eight fish on a bait, it's gonna start to loosen up here along the shank, along the bend of the hook. So if you look at the bait here and where that 90 degree bend comes out of the bait in the back here, you either take a toothpick or a nail weight works really well and you take it here and you and you slide it up flush like you normally would fish it but i'm just going to turn it this way a hair and what we want to do is take that toothpick or nail weight and put it through the side of the bait just at that 90 degree bend so we take that nail weight or that toothpick and stick it all the way through so it looks like that and basically what we have is just a nice little support bar for that that hook so it can no longer go past you know and slide down the body of the hook after a few fish it'll start to loosen up and you just take that you take that nail weight stick it right at the 90 degree bend it'll end up right there on that 90 and it'll hold in place like so and going back to the original six inch mag draft i'm going to throw this just in front of the cover i'm not going to throw it in the cover but just in front or in and around rocks and it deflects off rocks really nice. So I've got those two rigs there, open water, in and around grass and real, real gnarly cover. But what happens when I wanna go and fish the six inch mag draft deep? 
I will take the Magdraft freestyle body and a big half to three quarter ounce jig head and rig it up just like a traditional lead headed swim bait. So we take that and I glued this one up and I don't, I don't want to pull it off and show you, but basically what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I snip off the nose just in front of the eyeball so that it's a, a nice flat surface for me to butt up and thread up against the bottom of the jig head. And I also apply just two or three drops of super glue to help hold that flat surface or those two flat surfaces together. So you got the back side of the lead head that's flat. You've got the snipped off nose of the mag draft. You flatten that out and you mate the two with a couple drops of glue and that sucker's not going anywhere. So I like the gel type of glue here. I keep some of that in my boat. Just a little bit goes a long ways, but when you have those two flat surfaces like that, I don't care if you're catching fives and sixes out there on the Tennessee River. I mean, that is not going to come off. And a really big tip here when you're rigging a lead headed uh, jig head on a swim bait is to make sure it is absolutely straight, absolutely perfect. Little details matter when you're dealing with swim bait. So um, just thread it through like normal, pop it out the backside. And that's just a nice little gap here. Big, heavy three quarter ounce head. And I'll cast that out, you know, river ledges, um, drop off brush, brush piles. Whenever the fish are out there in 15, 20, 25 feet of water for you guys out on the Tennessee River, that's an awesome, awesome setup. And down here, you know, this particular hook, I don't even know who makes it. And they got a little harness down here. So when you're dealing with smallmouth or spotted bass, you could also add a stinger style hook, just a small trocar. I think this is a number four size stinger hook in the back with a black piece of braid here. So a lot of hooks going on there, real heavy weight, but that's for when the fish are out offshore, summertime, you cast it out there, 15 pound, 17 pound test fluorocarbon, wind it down and almost bump that lead um, off those shell bars and off those ledges drop offs and deep points. So that's another really cool way to rig the mag draft freestyle. That's the cool part about it. It's freestyle. You can rig it. You're free to rig it up however, however you see fit. So we got the deep rig with the lead head, lead headed jig. We got the shallow rig in and around cover trocar hook, trocar belly hook with the blade or non-bladed version, and then also the traditional style mega bass mag draft, the in harness style with, uh, with the magnet in the belly to help hold that hook in place.